Uh, so we looked uh, at overfishing, and this was the image of the uh, bycatch, uh, that is uh, unintended catch, uh, as we said, sometimes can be eight times the intended catch, and they are just thrown uh, overboard. But there is something else ca uh, called uh, ghost fishing. Okay, so here is uh, an example of uh, dolphins on the surface. Tuna will be swimming below. And to catch the tuna, they put this big purse in, and they trap the dolphins as well. Here's uh, an interesting uh, question of fluid mechanics that uh, you can think about. Uh, dolphins are uh, uh, fl uh, swimming on the surface, and when they want to go fast, they begin to literally fly in the air, right? It's called porpoising. There are dolphins, there are porpoises, but this flying in the air is called porpoising. Why do they do that? I think you can think through it, but essentially when they want to move fast, water is uh, got a density that's much, much, much higher than air, thousand times. So drag on the body, even though the body is very streamlined, as you can see here, um, the drag is very high. So when they jump into the air, the drag is reduced tremendously. So when they want to move fast, they can just take the energy to jump out of the water and come back, which essentially means the energy they use for jumping has to be more than compensated by the reduced drag in the air. Obviously that works, that's how it, it has evolved evolutionarily. So what is ghost fishing then? Essentially a lot of these industrial fisheries, uh, when they go out in the open ocean, they either unintentionally lose the fishing nets or they abandon uh, damaged fishing nets uh, and so on. So those nets hang around in the water. Many times they cannot be seen and fish get trapped in them. So you can see there are two examples of um, fish caught in abandoned net. They cannot even escape out of that. They are finished. Okay. So enormous amount of um, fishing gear gets abandoned or damaged and discarded uh, every year or unintentionally lost uh, every year. This is called ghost fishing. Okay. There is overfishing, there is unintentional bycatch, and now we have ghost fishing. So what is happening? A lot of these things are made from nylon and other plastic type material. Obviously they are not biodegradable. They are falling all the way to the bottom. As we saw, uh, plastic pollution in the ocean. Remember the uh, six-pack package uh, of the soda cans, beer cans, etc. are discarded. They end up choking the birds or getting uh, stuck around the neck of the seals and uh, other uh, fish and so on and so forth. Uh, make for horrifying pictures. But then there is this uh, ghost fishing. Uh, remember, these are not small nets. These are several kilometers uh, long and several, ki like, uh, several hundred meters deep. It's a massive amount of net. If it safely sinks to the bottom and sits there, that would be fine. But many of them float and the fish are just wandering around in their own habitat and they get caught in that and they uh, cannot escape, they get injured and die, or they get just trapped and uh, cannot move, cannot feed, and they die. So, ugly business. When you get uh, a, a fish at a restaurant, you enjoy it, you don't know where it came from oftentimes, most people don't ask. Um, and what can you do about it? So, there are something called safe to eat fish. We will look at a table of safe to eat fish. Can you always manage it? Uh, maybe if you go to a small town, small restaurant, they may not even know where the fish came from, whether it was caught safely, uh, whether the bycatch was protected, whether uh, it was dolphin free and so on and so forth. But you can try your best and make sure that you are eating, eating uh, fish that is uh, legally caught, safely caught and didn't do much damage to the environment.